This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. Welcome. I'm Glenn Martinez of Olamana Gardens, and uh, my specialty is aquaponics. Today I've got a special guest, though, Vincent Mina. He's from the Hawaii Farmers Union. He's our current president, and he's going to be hosting a big convention this weekend. And uh, he's got congratulations in order in that uh, I understand that you guys are, are going to be chartered. Yes. So this is kind of a convention and celebration all at once, right? Right on, Glenn. <laughs> Good fun. So happy you're going to be presenting there, too. Yeah. Yeah, along with a long list of people coming. Long list. So, yeah. can you give us a version of uh, what we're going to do? That this week, I understand, starts Friday at eight o'clock in the morning at Leeward. Uh, no, not Leeward. Windward. But I mean, um, uh, West Oahu Campus. West Oahu Campus, the brand new right. campus, right? That's right. So it's an opportunity for people to go see the facilities there. That's right. But it starts Beautiful at like facility. eight in the morning, right? Yeah, uh, registrations at eight, mm -hmm. and and then opening is at nine o'clock. Right. Okay. And then um, basically throughout the day, we're going to be. Uh, exploring the relationship mm -hmm. between our food and the soils and how to rebuild uh -huh. and restore the soils and mm -hmm. the vitality in the soils plus right. aquaponic uh, delivery right. as far as ease of application in aquaponics right. which you developed I think it's just brilliant yeah and uh, we're just really uh, excited about the level of expertise we got coming in we have a V trellis fruit production right happening from Peter Solaris coming now from Australia the farm comes yes. Saturday right and and Friday he's going to be doing classroom classroom presentations so during Friday it's <clears> going to be all in the on the uh, classroom. West Oahu classroom that's right lecture hall at first right that's everybody right. together that's right and then you're going to break in, in the afternoon into workshops that's right well in the right. afternoon at West Oahu campus will be um, uh, breakout rooms because uh -huh. we have so many presenters right. there's going to be concurrent presentations right. happening at that time right. and then um, Saturday will be hands-on mm -hmm. workshops right you're gonna be having a hands-on workshop in aquaponics we right. have a, a natural farming chicken coop mm -hmm. workshop we have V trellis mm -hmm. fruit production workshop and then yeah. also polyculture cover crops oh, yeah. uh, being uh, happening on Saturday right. so it's gonna be very diverse and at yeah. the same time um, uh, having this um, theme of regenerative, you know, mm -hmm. regenerating our soils, right. regenerating our aquaponic right. systems, how we can be able mm -hmm. to grow nutrient-rich yeah. food without having to deplete the, where we right. get it from. Now, the regenerative, mm -hmm. that is close to your heart, right? Yeah. Now, you put on, I, when I first met you, you were putting on, uh, over on the island of Maui, the body and soil, right. S-O-I-L, like body right. and soul, S-O-U-L, right. but soil, S-O-I-L. Right and I attended, I think, three of those. You did. Uh, that, 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 yeah. And presented at some of them. And it was when the Farmers Union was first starting, just getting started out. and organizing. It came and out of uh, Maui Aloha Aina, right. our nonprofit, into Body and Soil that we were Body right. and Soil conferences that we were and putting on. It was on. kind of funny. It was a statewide organization, but quickly Maui had more members than all the yes. rest of the state combined. Yes, you know, you have a great farming community mm -hmm. there. Now, at the last state convention, which we did down in Hilo mm -hmm. last year, that's right. we had the same fellow that's coming up this year from Australia, right? That's right, Peter Solaris. Yeah. Now, when yeah. you say the V, yeah. can you describe what that is? Okay. One? I saw it, but yeah. see, see if you Well, basically, like. basically, we're putting posts in the ground, mm -hmm. and from the center point, it's 17 and, and these are like six by six inch posts, right? Yeah, they're, and they're like thick eight, posts. And 10 feet out That's of right, the out air, of the right? ground. That's right. right. Actually around, yeah, nine, nine foot, eight, eight to nine foot canopy. Yeah. But from the center, it goes out 17 and a half degrees one way, 17 and a half degrees mm -hmm. the other way, because that's where they find most maximized light can get into mm -hmm. the trellis. So the trellis is, the, the plants are on wires, right. 50 foot Something section. Something like a bean pole wire. Exactly. Strong wire going back. That's right. right. Four wire high. Yeah. yeah. And then they get. Um, now they train the tree to go. They to train that. them. That's right. Okay. And you get double the fruit production yeah. on a lower canopy. Right. So ease of harvest. Right. Plus it's ease of when you're fertigating, when you're foliar feeding. Right. So the plants stay real healthy. Right. You're. It just. It's just. So a, instead of having a tree, just be say I'll borrow your hat here. Right. From a, instead of having a tree with a kind of round surface. That's right. If the tree gets too tall, it gets much harder to harvest. Yeah. I was and kind of surprised. A fellow main, mentioned anything over six feet costs you fifty percent more there you to go. harvest it. There so you even go. though it looks good, the birds <laughs> get it. We don't right. get it, right? Because right. these cost too much to get it. That's and, right. And the hazard and the injuries and everything else. All that. Have. So when you do the V. Now you have more surface area, right? More surface area. And the inside area, right? And, and then you have double yeah. the fruit production. How do you pick the inside? 
You walk down the inside. You walk right down the middle. Right of down it. the middle of it. Wow. And you have it. Yeah, it's. They had. Yeah. Th you know, he said to me, he said, Vincent, if you guys were, if Hawaii was in the yeah. southern hemisphere, I wouldn't be speaking at your convention. Yeah. Because of the competition. Right. He right. said, but because you're in the northern hemisphere, I don't right. have a problem with it. Right. But we're putting in thousands of acres in Australia yeah. with this system. Yeah. Yeah. So really cool. Yeah. And yeah. then plus it plus it protects from wind damage. There you go. Because you're on wires. Right. And uh, you don't have any issues right. with when you have big storms, right. you know. Well, when I went to Korea uh, about two years ago, and we toured at like an apple orchard place, yeah. and I assumed the apple orchard would be outside, typical Washington State type apple right. orchard. Right. No, we walked in, it was a hoop greenhouse, uh -huh. 200 feet long, uh -huh. and they had about six rows of Sweet. apples going down, <laughs> bean pole, but they were the single pole. But oh, they had okay. apples on both sides, right. and they harvested it from two feet to six feet. Okay. And they put mylar down on the ground. Uh -huh. I said, now, what's that all about? Well, that made Reflect the bottom the of the apple red. Uh, and you get more for a red apple uh, than you do if it's clear on the bottom. But imagine when they see this, if you do the V, you're, you're just got that much more going for yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Now, when I saw it down there, that was quite productive what right. we saw in Hilo. Right. So now, where is this going to be at? Where is this farm? Well, um, this is going to be a Kahumana farm mm -hmm. uh, on Saturday. He's going to do, we're going to, mm -hmm. we have trellises in the ground. Okay. So people will get to see how it's done. Right. And then. Now, um, I noticed I was out there a couple of weeks ago, and you volunteered. You came over from Maui, and you were mm -hmm. helping them put them in there. Yeah. Right? Digging holes, yeah. putting poles. Gravel, concrete, that's the whole right. thing. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And anchors. Anchors. Yep, yeah, for the wires, right. you know. Because yeah. a lot of weight on this thing when you oh, get yeah. down to it. Well, right? what we did, we just dug a hole three feet deep, put a, a rebar with a uh, half inch chain, galvanized chain mm -hmm. that came out of it. It sticks, a, the chain goes down in the hole, it's buried, yep. and yep. then it sticks a foot out of the ground and the wires attached to that. That's it. Good so to go. A big clothesline in a V. There you go. There you go. There you, you go. go. And then the, 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 real, the real beauty, too, is before we put that trellis in there, we're building our soils with the polyculture cover crops. Right. So, you know, people talk about the whole idea with... Now, um, when you say polyculture, yeah. that, that just sounds like Polynesian, you know, Well, center. yeah. But watch it. Poly means many things, many. right? It's so, just like permaculture. So in other words, when I was growing up, Farmers run out and doing soybean, period. Right. Or they they did uh, monocrop. Mono, mono right. And and they, and you got one thing out of the monocrop. Right. So when you do in poly, you're talking about doing a mixed variety of things. That's right. You know, legumes or things, etc., mixed up together. So what kind of polycrops would they well, do? Well, the nice thing about it, Glenn, is it's set up. Yeah. If and, you know, people talk about permaculture, yeah. different levels of of, right. of plantings that's mm -hmm. happened from the annuals up right, to right. trees. Mm -hmm. Well, this is in essence kind of a microcosm of that mm -hmm. because you're putting in polyculture that's ground cover right. and then you're coming up with other level of cover crops, right. Sudan grass and now, sun Now, do you plow all that under or does it no, stay there year round? The ideal is to roll it and crimp it. Roll it and crimp it. Yeah, and you it roll it and crimp it. literally rots it into Yeah, what the happens ground. is every seven inches it crimps. Yep, yep. And so it lays down as a cover crop, as mm -hmm. a mulch. Mm -hmm. And then the roots are in place. You're not damaging right. the soil. Right. And then you come with a yeoman's plow behind, mm -hmm. and you can cut a line right through it right. and drop your plants right A yeoman out. plow, is that the one that's like a disc that makes the thin slot and open at the bottom? Yeah, it basically, kind of it basically it. yeah, it goes underneath but the soil. But it's not open plowing. No, not open normally plowing. Normally you say plow, people think no, a right. rotor tiller coming up, disturbing, killing all my worms. Mm, that's right. And that. We don't want to do that. And I asked some fellows over at, uh, <laughs> uh, at a certain university, I said, what you, how do you integrate worms? He says, hey, when the worms hear my tractor coming, they go <laughs> deep. I go, wow, it's just terrible, you know? That's but, right. But, That's but right. what I was interested in is when they when they do it, when they, before, what, like they were burning things. Right. Like here was sugar cane. You right. burn the sugar cane. Right. We go down to uh, Philippines. They burn the rice. Right. And then somebody comes along and found out if they would just roll and crimp the rice. That's right. And just let it rot That's into right. the soil. It did a lot. Better. And all the roots are in place. Yep. You Got all and nitrogen you don't get the fixing. wind blowing the soil off. Yeah, that's so right. It, it seems like a given. It seems you know? like a given, yeah. doesn't it? And what I love is you don't have to weed. That's right. So you say, no, that's polyculture. That's, yeah. That's not weed. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's polyculture. <laughs> but tell me about this fellow that's coming up from Australia. Yeah, Peter. Uh, yeah, Peter. Yeah, great guy. And he's doing he's doing hundreds or thousands of acres, right? Well, he there. him personally isn't. All, he has yeah, he has a farm that he has mm -hmm. acreage in this. Mm -hmm. um, he I think he's 40 acres, his farm. Mm -hmm. But... There, there's thousands yeah. of acres going in in going Australia in. of this yeah. of this way of doing uh, yeah. fruit production. Yeah. And it's very conservative on the water too, right? Very conservative on the because water. Because you, you're, you're watering a straight line That's as opposed right. to every 10 feet. That's right. That. And no aerial spraying in that. No. Right? Right. No, the foliar feeding is really valuable yeah. with this. Yeah. You know, now, that's foliar feeding. 
Yeah. That's a great term, and I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But what to, why would you describe it to a layman? Well, a layman, it would be a um, nutrient-rich, um, microbial-rich mm -hmm. tea. Worm tea. Compost Worm tea, tea, compost tea. And when you see foliage spray, you're spraying it on the foliage. Spraying it on the foliage okay. and natural farming inputs, right. fermented plant juice, these things that we're making, right. uh, basically recycling nutrients back onto the farm. Right. We get it from the farm, like purslane. Now, People what does the plant get out of spraying something on the leaves? Well, that's does the thing. Does it absorb yeah. it? Yeah, like for instance, purslane yeah. is a weed. Mm -hmm. People consider it a weed. Well, we make it, we ferment it with sugar. Right. And then we put one ounce of that per five gallons of water. When we spray it on the plant, it opens the stomata of the leaf. Bingo. So anything else that's in there goes in the leaf. Right, right. So that's, that's yeah. part and parcel on, why we do on, that. On all of Monte Gardens, we found out that we did worm tea because right. we raise worms. And Doing so a great we job of it, too. With that. Yeah. And then we make 50 gallons of worm right, tea. Right. I put five gallons on my backpack and uh -huh. I walk around. And we found out if we sprayed the bottom of the right. leaf, where it's like the tender underbelly of the that's leaf, right. it absorbed it in. That's so right. one day... I'm reading, and it says a plant absorbs about a third of its nutrition through its leaves, mm -hmm. which would be like us absorbing something through our skin. That's right. Right? That's like when it rains and the leaves turn up. Turn up. Right, right. You know? And so when we did that, it went Jurassic Park. Mm -hmm. All my holly guava, the limbs all broke because the fruit is so heavy. Yeah. We went out to, um, uh, to BYU, and we did a farm out there, an eight-acre farm. They had bananas all the way around banana trees, they had no bananas, hmm. okay? And their yams were sickly and they were yellowy. And every time somebody sees a yellowy leaf, they go, oh, it's iron deficient in that, right? Or they test the leaf and it needs calcium, so they put more calcium, but really it was magnesium it was mm -hmm. missing to release the calcium. Mm -hmm. So it's all this balancing act. So what we found out is a shotgun approach. We would just make up a good quality compost tea. That's right. Whatever compost you got. You put minerals here, in it? Put the minerals there in it. There you go. Whatever the additives. We That's put right. it in there, and we did what we call the shotgun approach, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to the single silver bullet. Right. We're just, boom, boom. That's right. We went out, we sprayed it on it, mm -hmm. and we would wait three days. Mm -hmm. And if the plant regenerated itself and new leaves came out and it changed color, that was the winning Bingo. ticket. That's right? right. Well, we went back out. And when I first went out there, all the beautiful trees going around. This is out in Kahuku here on, mm -hmm. on Oahu. And you can imagine five acres, you know, with a, you know, the windbreak of banana trees around, mm -hmm. but no bananas. When we went back, it looked like a junkyard. They had pallets and two by fours. And holding them up. Holding them up because the banana racks were this big around and three feet That's long. That's so good. And they would just choke bananas. When we did the, the way to do it. We did the yams. They took a backhoe, they dug a trench, put their your yams into it, and they started crowning. When the yam went down three feet and hit the hard, hard grit we hadn't broken, it pushed up, and they were crowning up on the surface. So it. good, huh? And it was just... Oh, yes, so how is, it, how is it so that we're not growing our own food here in Hawaii? Oh, right, right, Glenn? Right, right. So our, our agricultural yeah. budget right now, as you know, is 0.37%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we're importing 90% of our food. Huh. And yet, listen to this story that you're telling us on this small postage stamp, the amount yeah, of food How that's much grown. food we did. Well, this so, is great. I've got a few more things I wanted to ask sure. you about. We're going to take a little short break here okay. for about one minute. And we're going to be right back with you. So don't change that dial, as they say. Be right back. Thank you. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Some say scuba divers are the poor man's astronaut. At Dive Heart, we believe that to be true. We say forget the moon. Dive Heart can help children, adults, and veterans of all abilities escape gravity right here on Earth. Search DiveHeart.org and imagine the possibilities in your life. We're all part of your community. We all play a role in keeping our community safe. So protect your every day. If you see something suspicious, say something to local authorities.
Hi, I'm Glenn Martinez of Olamana Gardens, and uh, I'm here on Think Tech. We really appreciate y'all joining in and joining us. I've got a special guest, Vincent Mina. He's the president of the Hawaii Farmers Union United, and he's here to share what we got coming up this weekend. We have coming up a big convention, and it's at Leeward Community College all day Friday. I'm sorry, West Oahu College. West Oahu College all Friday, just classroom lecture kind of thing, PowerPoint presentation, live speakers, and that. And then on Saturday, we're going out to the farm, and we've been talking about with the bee trellises and that that are going to be on the farm. But let's talk about some of the other people that are presenting, because yeah, this I'll reads almost this like a here. rock concert of everybody who's presenting. It's yeah, fantastic. we have, um, um, so, God, there's like 18 presenters. Yeah, yeah. And, and it covers a whole system of agriculture. As you yeah. can see, all these sponsors that are on this uh, poster, it's a very well-supported event. Uh, Department of Agriculture is very much involved. Mm -hmm. uh, West Oahu Campus is very much involved. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, just people who value um, Olson Trust from Big Island. He's, mm -hmm. he's the largest agricultural landowner in the state wow. yeah, at Olson. Very supportive. Ulupono, yeah. you know, very supportive. Read and then, this, yeah. is, this is a little small for you all to read all the little logos that we've yeah. got here. But from Down, down to Earth, Earth University right. of Hawaii, Department of Agriculture, uh, Ulupono, as he just mentioned, what are these here? Okay, so Hoppy is Haiku um, Permaculture Institute. Mm -hmm. And then Don Nelson, the basketball player there you from go. Maui, he's got the first hemp house. Well, well they're supporting, they're supporting. He the, built the hemp house? Yeah, he built the hemp yeah. house, first one in Hawaii. Uh -huh. And then um, the YNI Medical Center, very supportive. Very and hey, Jerry Brunetti's business. Very good. Yeah, Jerry's going to Jerry be present. Jerry Brunetti was a, a good friend of both of ours and uh, and really helped uh, us a lot in our lives. Icon and of agriculture. Icon, yeah. And uh, he, he was just a, a super champion guy. Yeah. passed away a few years ago. Yeah. But it lives on. He yeah, lives on truly. Work he's doing. Center for Food Safety. Yep. Mana Foods from Maui. Big there supporter. You so, yeah. you know, we, uh, we have art okay. with a cause. You know, okay. uh, the, the wife of uh, uh -huh. Kyle Data uh -huh. has this art, artist group they bring the art for a silent auction. Yeah. They get half, and we get half. Fantastic. So it's to help help organizations. Well, let's and, go down the list here. We yeah. got Gabe Brown. Yeah, Gabe Brown's coming from North Dakota. He is the cover crop specialist. He had a workshop recently in North Dakota. Mm -hmm. They expect the 50 people to show up. 500 came. Wow. So he's a rock Fantastic. star out of like North that. Dakota around cover yep. crops. He's off of synthetics on his land. Right. Other farmers are coming to him. Will you farm right. my land? Right. You know, right. so he's a great guy. And then Glenn Martinez. This guy's from. Oh. Uh, why am I going to do airlift? I, yeah, he's, you know? he's, he's full of hot air. No, 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 <laughs> well, no, the whole, yeah. the whole beautiful thing <laughs> yep. what you brought to the table is this airlift. Yeah. And I'm implementing yeah, that yeah, on our yeah, farm yeah. with our compost tea. Right. Love it, Glenn. Right. So you're doing so great stuff with Hawaii, that. Hawaii, with the expense of electricity, people, people need to save the money Big and find time. a cheaper way to do it. So yeah. your brilliance right. there shines. Yeah. And then Mike DuPont, um, yeah. he's uh, from Ex Ag Extension. He does natural farming education. Yep. Yep. So now we he do. was a big supporter on the natural farming oh, convention time. we had down on the Big Island. That's right. That was one of where we hoped to get 100 people to show right. up. 350 That's right. people came. And then I, my wife, we ended up following with him. Twice he's gone to Korea, toured That's all right. the natural farms there. So I went for uh, we one week show. there. We saw wow. like 11 farms in one week or right. something like that. It was like three farms a day. Uh, this guy walks the talk. Michael and he also, it. Michael DuPont, uh, with the Ag Extension agent, he did the pig farm down on the That's Big right. Island. No smell, no, no flies. No smells, no odor, deep litter. It's a wonderful thing. Wonderful so, thing. So he's not just a, a, like a, sometimes you think, oh, we're having somebody from university come out. They're like coming from a classroom out to the farm. This guy truly yeah. lives on the farm. And then we have Albie Miles, who's a professor yep. mm -hmm. at West Oahu campus, mm -hmm. and he's doing a really wonderful program, mm -hmm. sustainable program with the, with the students mm -hmm. out there. So I'm really excited for Albie. And then Christopher Spinzano, this man, it's Foreman Matters, the light bulb mm -hmm. here. They're a big sponsor. But Christopher is, is developing this um, uh, computer-based system that's going to connect all the dots for farmers to make it easier for them to get through markets, to be gotcha. able to know what's available. So it's a wonderful thing. Where do you meet Christopher? Every now and then. Yeah, but Christopher. But he seems like he pulled it off. He did. He, it's a, he's, this guy's a yep, brilliant yep, mind, yep. no doubt. Yep. And then we have Jennifer Kuchira. She's mm -hmm. the soil health expert for yep. NRCS West Coast mm -hmm. region. She's right. coming. Jennifer is beautiful. Where do you, She's a, where do you meet Jennifer? She does grass, right? That, that grass in that? Yeah, she does all. Yeah. Just anything having to do with soil yep, health, yep. you know? And then Bob Schaefer, yep. hey, body and soil yep. fame, you know, he's an agronomist that's just is yep. doing kawaii coffee. He's turned that 
operation Turned around, around, making it right, organic. Right. He's done all the food waste compost right. for San Francisco. Right. So Bob, Bobby's coming. Yeah. And he, then he met a, a fellow here in the sugar business who used to be a foreman or a supervisor for the big sugar cane uh -huh. company, and they closed down. And one of the guys said, when when he when he was in the sugar cane business, he hated the California grass. It grows oh, up, right, right? Right. And Bob changed his whole life on that. Got him to do again, so plow it. it back down. And in less than three years, they have worms on the property. Unreal, so yeah. it's amazing the connections they do. Truly. Yeah. And Sheoli Mula, mm -hmm. she, um, beautiful young mm -hmm. superstar, mm -hmm. changing poop water into drinkable water. There so she's, she's going to be... See, everybody always asks me if grace. I drink my worm tea. <laughs> That's I, right. I, <laughs> I see you drink some. You yeah. lost your hair, too. Well, I'm still, yeah. we're still trying to work that out. Yeah. Doug Fine is the hempster. Ah, he's gonna. He's yeah. the hemp rock star from the mainland. Yeah. And Doug is gonna come and, and have. There's gonna be a panel yeah. on hemp production in Hawaii. Right. So excited about that. And then Lely Lely Vi. She does extractions. You know, mm -hmm. they're doing sandalwood oil extraction mm -hmm. up in right. Mauna Loa. They take oh. the old sandalwood trees right. when they're dead. Yeah. And they still have oil in them though. Uh -huh. They they uh, harvest a tree. Huh. All the babies come up. So it's reforesting no the sandalwood forest. Well, that's and at the same time, they got wiped the oil. out on this side. Yeah. No, it's, it's just wiped out. Beautiful yeah. what they're doing. Fantastic. And then uh, Jamie Burton from Hark, she's doing the polyculture cover crops using the tropicals. Mm -hmm. So she brings that expertise. And uh, Ted Radovich, you know. I've worked with him for like 20 years. Now. Rock star. Yeah, yeah. Ted's now, great. He, he is like Mr. Organic at yeah. the University of Hawaii. That's right. There's about six people over there, but That's Ted right. Radovich has been, and he's become the chair of his department over there. That's right. And uh, it, it's, a, it's kind of funny. You go to University of Hawaii and all the ag departments you think of in that, it's only him and um, who's the other fellow? Uh, his name is slipping my mind right now. Oh, you Jonathan Dienick. Yeah, John Dienick and one more. He was with Farmers Hector. Union. Huh? Hector. Oh, oh, Hector Venezuela. He Hector Venezuela. Yeah. The real champions. That's I mean, right. people who really live the That's life. Right. Yeah. And then we go got um, David Fisher is doing a wonderful class right now for HFUU members mm -hmm. on bu uh, business development, regenerative mm -hmm. business development, business plans right. to get farmers more in the you know, mentality of making a, money. You know? That's it. And then we have Tulsi Gabbard going to open up the Saturday uh, Farm Festival at Kahumana. Yep. And Re Rep. Cregan, who's the Ag Chair of the House, mm -hmm. and Senator Gabbard, who's the House, who's the Senate Ag Chair. Otherwise known as Dad. Yeah, yeah, that's Tulsi's right. Tulsi's dad. dad. Yeah. And Scott Enright, the Director yep. of Agriculture. Yep. We got the trifecta. Dude, ben or Finn. They're yep. they're all members. Yep. Richard Cregan's yep. the yep. Vice President of the Kau yep. chapter. Yep. I'd like to give a shout out for um, uh, Scott Enright. Scott Enright. Uh, Natalie and I went down, and uh, and you were there. He, uh, uh, Vincent is on the Department of Agriculture yes. board. And uh, we got two things turned around. We saved the circuses That's so right. the tigers and elephants can still come. But what we were there for at the meeting was to champion getting the Nilotikus fish right. off the A list, super restricted, can't bring it to Hawaii, to the B list, you can bring it in as long as you meet conditions. And, and it was here anyway. And it was here anyway. That's right. And so we got here. it moved over. Right. So nobody can explain how it ever got on the list. And as far as the animals go, you know, yeah. I mean, that was pretty contentious. Yeah. I think, you know, I abstained from that vote because mm -hmm. it, it was um, the film industry can still bring them in. Well, if the film industry can bring them in, then why are you trying to come down Not on the, the circus? circus? Right, right. Playing it, field's got to be level. It's got to be level yeah. all the way across. Edible oh. Hawaii uh, Islands yep. is a sponsor. Armstrong yep. Produce is a sponsor. Yeah. Um, we have uh, now, uh, Oahu RC and D. Produce, yeah. They don't grow anything. They're wholesalers. They're wholesalers, but they buy a lot of local produce. But keep produce. in mind, to the farmer, to have a place where Absolutely. you go and bring, and they'll buy everything you got Absolutely. as long as it meets your quality standard. That's right. And it really helps with the food safety issues Absolutely. because they will take care of the handling and the people they sell to trust them. That's right. That, they, that we will deliver it clean, they'll wash it, they'll package it, they give it to Disneyland Hotel or you know Iolani or wherever it's going. And so They're, it's they do their having a, a good wholesaling is, is, is good stuff. Truly. Yep. Pamela Boyer from Farm Lovers yep. Markets. Yep. They're, they're a sponsor. Local IA. Mm -hmm. They're sponsoring the fish for it. Right, right. uh, North Shore Livestock sponsoring the beef. Yep. Uh, Sun Fresh Hawaii helps sponsor. National Farmers Union, of course. Kahanu Aina Greens, our okay. farm. Scratch and Peck. Yep. Mariah Raftree is going to be part of the presentation on oh, yeah. Saturday. Right. She's a big player for fermented grains for the chickens. So this is, you know, this is just. This is all about body this, and soil this is like again, Glenn. like a rock Glenn. star poster here yeah, we got baby. going, huh? Truly. This, this, this is all the people. It's going to be good fun, man. I tell you what, uh, something Natalie and I go into the convention together here for about the last eight years. 
Yes, we attend to classes and we certainly learn something. You know, I mean, you sit there, you learn, you get mm -hmm. some education. But in the breakout sessions, yeah. in the donut, in the coffee session, the strolling around the farm where you meet and you become personally acquainted with the people. Well, let's talk you about know, the it's, food, it's, Glenn. Yeah. The okay. food right now, we have all local vores. It's not going to be coffee uh -huh. and donuts. Yeah. It's going to be like right. the kind. We're going to have good food. Good food, brother. Yeah. You know that. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then also, and that's a really great point, the networking the way, that happens. Let me you know? jump into How can sure. people find out about how oh, yeah. to go to this thing and how to sign up? H-F-U-U-H-I.org. So it's Hawaii Farmers Union United, H-F-U-U, uh -huh. H-I for Hawaii, right. dot org. Great, great. can register. Yeah. And either one day or the whole weekend. I think the, the key is, like you say, Glenn, you know, as a farmer, I'm a family mm -hmm. farmer, you're mm -hmm. a family farmer, right. we're in the trenches. Yeah. So these get us up in the clouds yeah, yeah. with one another. We get the that's network right. with that's people right. throughout that's all right. the that's state. Right. Yep. We have 14 chapters, so all those presidents that's who are right. farmers are going to be together. Yep. Yep. Man, this is Electric Avenue. Yeah, that's right. Then we go back to our farms. We're kissing the walls of the trench. Yep. We're happy yeah, to be right. back in our trenches, right. doing what we're Comfort doing. Zone. Right. Yeah, but this way we but have a like, chance to share. You know, when I when I met Jerry Bernetti, and you yeah. get that personal relationship yeah. going on. To me, it's the difference between buying a book and just yeah. reading it, and having lunch with the author that's right. and getting to talk to him and and ask the behind the scenes. That questions. brilliance is going to be so, here. Yeah, that brilliance so is going to be at this event. By the way, on the uh, down here, the National Farmers Union yeah. in the corner. Let's talk for a moment about the celebration Absolutely. we got this weekend That's of right. being chartered. What's so, it mean? You know as well as I do, because you were past president mm -hmm. of the Farmers Union, uh -huh. um, that it's a national organization that's 115 mm -hmm. years old. Uh -huh. And so they are extending us. They're, mm -hmm. de they're coming to deliver mm -hmm. a charter. And what that uh -huh. means, basically, since I've been president, I go to the, and you've been at the, when right. you go uh, to the mainland for right. national board meetings. Well, I'm at that board table, but I don't have a vote. Right. And now we have a vote. Get to vote. We have a vote. Fantastic. So you know as well as I do, if I'm sitting here and you have a vote, I listen to you a lot closer. There than you, you go. Have a vote, right? Yes. And so it's 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 cool. Yeah. And so we we we've, we've met all of the membership requirements, yeah. financials, yep. the governance. We have the core leadership. Yep. They said you guys are ready. Fantastic. We're going to charter you. And well, so that happens Saturday at two thirty. Congratulations. Thanks, Glenn. It's been it's been great. Well, we're just about out of time. They're giving me the the wrap it up sign as they say. And so I want to thank everybody for coming to us. Think Tech has put us on the air and we're really happy to share this. And we're going to have some other good people coming in here and uh, we're going to share some more. And I'll be doing a follow-up report hopefully next week uh, how this all went and have some scenes for you. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We do appreciate it. Thank you, Glenn. Thank you.